These players are regarded as probably not S, but until you've used or versed them, you will definitely think they're S. They're obviously blurred on the screen right now for a reason. We're going to get into it. Let's get it. Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? Perfect. New card. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of the description. Use code META for 5% off. Yo, what it do, ladies and gentlemen? We do have the best players right now that's, I'd say, under the radar and and or people don't uh, really understand how good they are until they've tried them out. So we've got a couple of, I'd say, more forwards than anything else, but we've got at least... I'd say 10 to 15 cards, more or less. Do you get what I'm saying? So let's get into it. Hit that like, subscribe, check out all the socials. Most importantly, use the code META, M-E-T-A, for the best, cheapest coins. Don't spend money on FIFA points. It's not worth it, bro. At the end of the day, you're not guaranteed a good player unless you buy coins, bro. You know, that's just me personally. My humble opinion, yes. And also check out the shirt sponsor. You know, use the code Mike. I've said it in a couple of videos. Second link in the description, and you can get the best, cheapest shirts, bro. Literally amazing quality. Got the Ajax shirt for the day. And it's actually got Bob Marley inspired. So shout out Bob Marley right there, man. And let's get into it, bro. Now, did you see I was on the SPC list? Ladies and gentlemen, EA. Well, I was actually compiling this video, right? Uh, this was yesterday doing these cards trying to see who's the best you know who's the most underrated like underrated under the radar card and ea have just gone and released probably one of the most important cards i think that's going to shape the, the the way this game is played um you know we got drogba that was shaping the game uh you know those type of tall aerial threat ability players now we've got the next one right there let's actually just start a squad we'll call it sweaty bro because essentially Okay, they don't actually allow that. We'll just call it OP, bro. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, well, let's get into it, man. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Hopefully, your week's going well as well. Um, how was champs? Leave in the comments. But yeah, let's start off with the very first one. I think a, a couple of people do know this guy. Um, we've said it in a couple of videos. I still say he's S tier. And not a lot of people know this. Um, if you look at his card, he has literally everything to be S tier. He ticks all the boxes, bro. Only thing is trying to link him. He's got Anticipate Plus. He's got medium and high, six foot two as well. Perfect height in my opinion, not too tall, not too short. Uh, and he has four star weak foot. So literally, bro, the most composed center back, I think perfect for the price. I think he's under 50K. And we already know many, if you've been living, living under a rock, you wouldn't know, but 68K, he's got almost 700 likes. This is a very, very nice beast. Let's jump up to the next one. It's going to be actual left back right there in his actual position. It's going to be the main man, Mendy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you know, Phil and Mendy is back. He is back indeed with a bang, bro. You can get Mendy if you put him through La Liga Tots. Uh, that is the evolution. And in my opinion, it's um, S tier. The way this man plays, right? His gold card wasn't great. I can't lie to you. He had the five-star weak foot. Yes, he was just expensive, very overrated. But this one right here could potentially be better than like the woman left backs. Because he's essentially taller, yes. But he moves so, so nice on the wall, bro. 88 reactions. Very nice agility and balance. And he's got five-star, five-star. So offensively defensively sound amazing stamina bro and in my opinion one of the better left backs in the game with rapid plus first touch plus and still ping pass does he have at least whip pass it does not unfortunately if you like whipping the ball in with your fullbacks then it's a little bit of a downfall but i feel like in game and this card is just gonna be great and i actually have versed him a couple of times would you actually spend your la liga tots on him by the way it's free I did not know that. It is free to get this card, bro. You just have to get his gold, which is probably extinct right now, you know, knowing this community. But yeah, let us jump in, by the way, to the next one. And I actually need to go away from this because I don't want to leak the page. But boys, the very next card I'm about to show you right now. Let's just get into him, bro. It is the main man, Soloth. Now, if you've seen a couple of videos from other people, you know, mainly from Boris Legend, he said, uh, a lot of people like using uh, the other version of this card. I forgot which one it was. It was the pink version right there. Amazing card, bro. People still use that card to this day and, and they cook. He's kind of like a cheaper Haaland team of the season. Uh, cheaper Haaland team of the year. Five star weak foot, four star skill moves, six foot five. Bro, this man's going to shrug off anyone in his way. Even the ref. 1995, bro. What a beast. You know, I don't know why I said he when he was born, but <laughs> the card got me acting up some ways, bro. This card is nice. 99 strength, 99 stam, 99 jumping. This is going to be 
a freak of nature might I add and definitely S tier people will be like Mike no ways is S tier he's got 80 agility and balance you know it's not my meta uh players that I can turn with he's not Butra Gueno he's not those type of players but bro the way this uh, meta is right now um you need someone that can finish firstly so a 4-2-3-1 lone striker even a 4-3-2-1 lone striker someone that can just you know essentially have the clinical ability as well as aerial threat in the box against bigger defenders you know the, the meta is bigger defenders be sick uh we got konate big ass frame players bro so i can only imagine having strikers to at least counter that do you know what i mean have some sort of physical battle and technical base play style bro he's got relentless as well so he will go on and on and on and he's got Trivela plus that is nice in the box i feel like it would be more worth it to use it because they've nerfed Trivela plus as well he's got aerial plus bro so in terms of hitters ggs Let's just say if you have um, the chem style of, I think it was, not ping pass, sorry. It is going to be, is it ball control? You know the one where you can basically um, cross uh, dead ball. There we go. If you have dead ball for a, another player in your team and you have Soloth, you know, accompanied with him, with aero plus, GG's bro. Let's just say you have won the aero battle, bro. High and medium as well. What a card, man. And he is only going for the measly price of, might I add. I looked at his SPC. This is easily one of the better SPCs to do now in terms of value, bro. 70k. He is 70,000 coins, bro, to do. I'll be honest. I'll do this card and enjoy him better than R9 right now. Because R9 doesn't have the most playstyles. Like, yes, R9 is fun to use. It's R9. But do you know what I mean? Like, especially if you want to have fun in this game, bro. Ugh, I know people that will cook me with that card, man. You know those weird guys that you... Donnie's that you just verse... And for some reason, they have like a card that you've never seen before. Just absolutely cook. Yeah, the very next one, though, I think a lot of people do know is Sane. Amazing card, bro. And even could be S+. Plus. That's how good he is. But I would say S for sure. Upper S. Um, he's a very, very nice skilled player. And I like that he has the frame of like a Neymar-esque type of player. So his skill moves come off more effectively. He's got mostly explosive. He's very quick. Especially with the height that he has. Shrugs of players as well as has the agility and balance. With 90 stam, this card actually, I won't lie to you. I actually underestimated him, bro. Fair enough, man. He's got technical base play style. If he had technical plus GG's, rapid and tricks the plus, so you will have some fun. You know what I mean? Uh, power shot plus as well. Can even slap him at strike if you want. I think I've spoken about him enough, so I will get into the next one, though. And he's going to be on your Bati, if that's how you say a name. Ladies and gentlemen, what a card. People will be like, Mike, my free pong's better. My, you know, quadrado is better, bro. Anya Bati, trust me, is the most relevant meta S tier list card right now. Why I say this is, she had an amazing team of the year card. I just feel like now, with the three playstyle pluses included, um, it, it deals for a very nice card, bro. Trust me, man. Long ball pass, jockey plus, as well as quick step. Now, that is what you need in a fullback. And anticipate base playstyle. Offensively, very nice and sound. Very nice to turn with. Um, I would add something to at least boost some sort of defensive and physical structure so maybe a sentinel on her because she already has amazing pace play bro she's so quick in game as well and she's five foot five so if you like your smaller fullbacks as well as overlapping ones she's your gal let's jump over to the next one it is going to be a very very irritating card that i just hate versing in weekend league and i had to include him man uh, a lot of people don't know about this card and he is so good in game bro i have no idea what they did to this card but they have super juiced him and it is going to be the main man, David, if I can just find team of the season right there. Look at this card, bro. 94. How much is he currently going for? Um, 555k. It used to be 700k. And you can actually put him through an Evo to make him 95, might I add. That Evo is called Tots Upgrade Series. So check it out. 5 star weak foot, 96 pace. This is better than R9, bro. I'm sorry to... R9 is catching strays, bro. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, these cards some of them just dissipate, uh, dissipate and some of them just are relevant like i'd still say r9 is relevant but i mean if you want a card that will just be like super juiced amazing in the box just very quick and very very potent might i add if you add pff, anything even an, a basic chem style on him he's going to cook bro he's got finesse shot plus which is nice in the box as well as rapid so what i like about him is if you play him on the wing bro he's very quick you can't he's to the point where you can't actually catch up to him he's kind of like that mbappe pace you know even with your amazing fast fullbacks center backs you cannot still catch him because of the rapid plus so a very nice s tier player for sure bro higher s tier might i add but yeah 
Let's jump over to the next one. It's going to be a very, very nice card. And I think for me, I wanted to include uh, a card that's similar to him, but I feel like I was pushing it right there. I always state him. You boys know if you've been watching the videos. It's kind of like a similar player to Xavi, bro. And he's going to be good to one. For me, I love Xavi, bro. Trust me. What a card in the game. But I feel like Gunawan's a better version of Xavi. He's got everything offering for him. Uh, does he have... Uh, technically, he does not. He does not. He does not. Anticipate plus for uh, Gunawan. Now, a lot of people play him as a box-to-box -box in a 4-3-2-1, 4-2-3-1, even as a CDM, not bad. But I feel like more people play him as a CM. Um, what I'd say is probably playing as a CM, but as a holding CM. So he will be very nice with the Anticipate plus. Tiki Taka plus as well. So he's going to have some saucy, saucy flick-ups, some good uh, one-twos. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's going to be very nice on the ball. Uh, I just wish he had some sort of base play style of ball control, like a ball control, um, technical plus, technical, even just rapid wouldn't be bad. Um, first touch would have been amazing. But if you add a shadow on him, if you're playing him as a CDM, by all means, I'd probably add an engine just to boost the agility and balance because he's not the shortest. But he's still a decent height, bro. 5 foot 11 is a nice height, might I add. That is my height. But yeah, 4 star, 4 star is nice as well. I wish he had 5 star, 5 star. Uh, or some sort of 5 star, but yeah. Next card is very similar, but a little bit shorter. Um, but a similar player. And he's going to be the main man, Fred. Now, what a card when it comes to just doing everything in the midfield, bro. You can play him Cam, CDM, LCM, RCM. You can play him anyway in the midfield. Um, most importantly at the RCM spot in a 4-3-2-1 and I feel like this card is just very good a lot of people don't notice if you use him in game you will see how good he is what I like about him is he has 99 reactions 99 balance 99 agility a lot of 99s when it comes to very important stat like aggression stamina balance agility reactions uh, short passing his ball controls nearly 99 and shot power do you know what I mean so as I said you can place him anywhere, bro. I'd place him as a box to box, almost a 90 club, and all for the measly price of, might I add, 275,000 coins, bro. With technical plus, what are we doing in EA? What are we doing? There's some insane cards for very cheap because of the supply and demand um, aspect. You know, with the more inclusion of women right now, there's not really a demand for some cards. Which I do get, so fair enough. But it's it actually leaves for very nice, um, good value cards. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Balotelli is the next one, straight up. You know, I don't really need to say anything. He has the aura. Everybody knows Balotelli is Balotelli, bro. What I like about him in-game, the way he does his skill moves, because he's 6'3", is so effective. Imagine Soloth had 5-star skills. You'd be one of the best cards in the game, straight up. But yeah, I like Balotelli in this game. He's very nice. And you can actually improve him through a tot upgrade uh, Evo. 99 aggression and strength alongside amazing pace split with that height and agility and balance what more do you need from a striker maybe the five star weak foot why did i even say that but yeah very fun as well with the tr uh, trickster plus so in game if you, you know fond of that but technical plus the way they transition holding rb slash r1 and playstation the way they move like a snake bro it, it helps a lot trust me especially if they're so big so by all means accompanied with the dribbling it's going to be an amazing card bro it's a, re a recipe for disaster for the opponents might i add luck as it's the next one as a striker a lot of people don't know he could potentially be one of the best five stars uh weak footed non five star skill move uh striker do you know what i mean does that make sense um i i feel like i've really over explained that but do you know what i mean like he doesn't have the five star skills but he is so so good that it doesn't really matter he's got high high very quick to turn with bro what i like about him is the turning aspect the way this man turns and transitions with the ball is just something of a messy bro um if he had technical plus ggs straight up man this card would be much more expensive than he is but i, I like the way he turns and yeah amazing strength as well for someone that is only five foot nine but uh, he kind of reminds me of like a mia ham type of player so yeah very very nice in game trust me i don't think his, uh, his spc is available anymore but yeah if you don't really want to spend on spcs and you want to just get a out and out striker that would do a job i'd say solo to a man as well as this vardy bro look at this card bro <laughs> only downfall and i don't know why they did this is he has 75 stam why did ea do that to him um i feel like in game you can play him for at least 70 minutes and then he's dead uh 98 aggression is amazing and what makes this card so great uh he's very persistent so if you try to get the ball from him he majority of the chance is going to try and get that ball back bro trust me um it's just like the off the ball movement or the ai 
it makes for a very nice aggressive striker so if you need like a potent striker he's got the five star skills as well with amazing finishing you slap something like a probably a catalyst if you want to use him as a as a striker you know you want the passing up a little bit at least as well as the pace split which is still good might i add but yeah only downfall is the stamina that's it man but a very nice card and some would say s bro trust me verse him and you will see and he even doesn't have bad defending it's not the greatest like 66 but it's not bad for striker bro but yeah i think the next one is kind of a cheers jeff moment a lot of people do know how great he is but not a lot though maybe that are watching this video but i like to shine upon cards that are underrated but i'd say for this one maybe uh i was taking it a bit too far um a lot of people know how good camavinga is is it him of the season bro and his card actually dropped i think in price um 391k as well uh six foot you know four star four star basically like a you could even argue a taller fred you know i don't know if that's a good expression but yeah intercept press proven and bruiser plus so he's going to be very physical and a very good interceptor of the ball um a ball winner might i add but yeah i do like that card and i would say s tier bro you know as of now a lot of people are using him they're enjoying him bro i mean he's got the stats to prove it as well um it's not those type of cards where their stats you know they, it's just there for no reason meanwhile they they, they play absolutely shite but yeah jordan tease well, how do you guys how do you say his name teze or tease i have no idea he's the next one what i like about him as a right back um better right back than center back in my personal opinion because i feel like with center back is a little bit short even though six foot is not that short for a center back perspective um i feel like right back it's better and s tier for sure you add something that boosts his agility and balance you know you want him to turn a bit but in game i feel like don't even look at his stats trust me uh, I think 10 times out of 20, I've versed this card in weekend league slash like champs qualifiers and he cooked me, bro. I couldn't get past him. I don't know what it was. And it's not even just my own experiences is why I state these cards, but a lot of people do also agree and back them. So yeah, fair enough. Chalky, intercept and whoop pass plus with that pay split. Very nice card. Very last one though is going to be um, a little bit of, I'd say not a lot of people know, man, how good this card is until they've used him and it is going to be Schlotterback. very nice card it's the very uh, last card right there of the video Schlotterback is a s tier card i don't care what anyone says six foot three high high in terms of the uh, in the box he scores most of the times trust me bro because he has at least base play style of aerial plus but more importantly power header plus so if you can do your corners really nicely he is your man and he's got anticipate plus which is the main reason why he's s tier uh, same thing with hanko do you know what i mean 94 reactions and he is only 300k for this type of center back 300k is crazy do you know what i mean in my opinion very good value and most of these cards are good value would you guys agree that they s tier tell me in the comments um if you agree and what's your favorite card right now i'm gonna definitely use that soloth in this weekend league he's gonna be in very nice bro but yeah i've been boy man mike smash like subscribe check out the socials coin sponsor shirt sponsor enjoy the week peace hey.